Hello, my name is Mark Adley, and this is an online training session for the Drugs Wheel, a new model for psychoactive drug awareness. Classifying drugs can be complex, and until the latter part of the 20th century, drugs could be categorised by the main effects of the psychoactive substances found in nature, sedatives, stimulants or hallucinogens. However, as times progressed, and with new developments in the emerging fields of medicine and psychiatry, new drugs emerged and different models of classification appeared. Within the substance awareness field, the DASH model emerged, dividing the sedative category into depressants, such as benzodiazepines and tranquilizers, and analgesic or painkilling drugs. However, by 2010, there was an influx of many new psychoactive substances. Many of us working in training and education added a miscellaneous or other category to allow for these new drugs. However, by 2011, the other, bo other box was overflowing rapidly. At this point, work began on the drugs wheel model. Working in tandem with Drug Watch UK, an informal group of professionals around the country, psychonauts around the world and other people using drugs on message boards such as Blue Light and Drugs Forum, we set about designing a model that could simplify the drugs landscape and provide a harm reduction approach to drug awareness. One of the central goals was for the model to include all known drugs, and so three new groups were created. Empathogens, drugs that mainly affect levels of serotonin. Cannabinoids, to include the large amount of spice type drugs or synthetic cannabinoid receptor agonists. And dissociatives, such as methoxetamine or MXE. The hallucinogen category was also renamed psychedelics to reflect more modern usage of the term. Adding these extra categories ensured that there was no need for a miscellaneous or other category, and all known drugs fit and continue to fit within the model. Inner and outer rings were also added to allow for further classification. For example, in this version, the outer ring shows established drugs and the inner ring newer drugs. These rings can be adapted for other purposes, for example, to divide categories by legal status or whether drugs are prescribed or non-prescribed. As of 2020, 820 new psychoactive substances have been recorded, reported to the European Union Early Warning System. Using the categories of the drugs wheel allows for harm reduction information to be given by category. This version of the drugs wheel gives a summary of the effects of each category. This and all versions are available free of charge from the Drugs Wheel website. The Drugs Wheel is a non-commercial project. Its Creative Commons license allows for it to be adapted as long as it is not used for commercial purposes and the licensing and credits remain in place. It has now been used around the world and translated into multiple languages. One very impressive adaptation has been the interactive online version created by the Australian Alcohol and Drug Foundation. There is also an interactive game version. You can download and print the instructions, board and cutout elements and play it as an educational game. Training videos are also available on the website. In collaboration with the Loop Harm Reduction Service, the Club Drugs Wheel is designed for display at festivals and nightclubs. One version adds a third concentric ring to explain the different drug laws in the UK. Another version combines the drugs wheel and the effects wheel into a large 1.5 metre poster. All of these are available for free. While the drugs wheel hopefully provides a helpful approach to drugs classification that can be adapted locally, it has been criticised for being too complex as most drugs still fit into the original stimulant, depressant or hallucinogen model. These are valid criticisms. However, there are some new drugs such as MDAI that don't quite fit into these three categories. As with any model, the drugs wheel is not perfect, but it hopefully works well for certain settings. The website, thedrugswheel.com, also contains free harm reduction information sheets created by Drug Watch UK and Ireland. That ends the presentation. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact me via the website. Thank you.